Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, hope you're well. Um, so I'm back today with another speed build. Um, I was suffering from builder's block for a little while and, and I just couldn't think of what I wanted to build. Um, it was for about a week I think it was, but I did this one at the weekend um, and it is a build that I've wanted to do for a little while. Um, it's pretty simple, it's quite straightforward, but it's just something that I just hadn't got around to doing. So it's like a London kind of Kensington style townhouse. It's a very simple shape, um, but it's it's just really pretty. And I went on to Pinterest to kind of gather some like sort of inspiration and just to see it, some pictures for reference. Um, but I did kind of I used a couple just for um, like window placement and stuff like that. I mean, it's very uniformed and quite straightforward. But other than that, I just kind of use my imagination of what I think these kind of houses would look like um, and obviously I've seen a couple of gone past them if I've gone to London and what have you but I just wanted to make it quite pretty and you know as similar in my mind to what I think that they would look like um, I use the kind of like iron gates um, I think those are from the vampires pack um, they've got small like squares of garden on the front like it's all very kind of like prim and proper and like I said very uniformed and I love that pink front door as well and it's so good because there's actually a letterbox on it and in the Sims we usually have just we don't really have letterboxes on the door it's always that mailbox and in the UK no one has like a mailbox with that red thing that you flick up and down it's just not a thing over here at all um so it's really nice that we've actually got a letterbox on one of the doors <laughs> and it's pink so it's perfect so i absolutely love that um so i wanted to make sure i use that because it goes really nice with the climbing flowers and the flower boxes um, and also like got some nice little hanging plants from deberg and i wanted to use that kind of like shaped bush thing um, because I just think it looks very um, kind of prim and well looked after like this family would have like a gardener that come and shape all their bushes <laughs> and just look after the house um, so I only gave them a really small garden um, because in London there's not really much space for big gardens as far as I'm aware I don't know if these townhouses have um, a lot of space in the back but I just gave them a bit of room they've got a nice little fountain they've got a blossom tree again and then they've got like a glass canopy area just for like chilling relaxing and sitting down with them um I didn't really do it too much to the garden to be honest I didn't spend a lot of time um furnishing or landscaping it but I just kind of put in the bare essentials really um a few flowers obviously there's some from romantic garden in there because obviously it is me let's be honest um so i just wanted to make it look pretty but quite simple um i didn't really put too much furniture in i kind of forgot about putting like a barbecue and stuff in um uh, there's literally just a sofa and a couple of, no a bench and a fireplace that's about it <laughs> um but then i wanted to make sure i put all like the flowers and stuff on the back just kind of carry on the theme from the front um i feel like the outside was quite important to get right for me on this one because I just wanted to make sure it looked as kind of like realistic and pretty as possible um and on the inside I kind of went for um very classic traditional kind of posh interiors um the spacing I mean in London obviously these kinds of houses are large so they are probably a lot bigger than what this one is um I think they're deceptively big to be honest because I think they go quite far back um but I just kind of made do with the space I had in this and I kind of had to combine the kitchen and the dining room um, and just put some fancy little archway thing in there um I just kept to classic uh black white and blue for the kitchen um and then dining room I put like a nice like clothed tablecloth in um it is very simple it's there's not a huge amount of furniture in there but it is quite a small space um and in the real house like this there would be a lot more um but you know i may do um and i think it looks okay 
And I also love that um, flooring because I'm pretty sure a lot of these houses have that marble checkerboard flooring. Um, and then I just sort of made the sitting room, um, I made like a TV unit thing with those kitchen cabinets because I thought it looked quite cool and I know a lot of people would have those kind of things. Um, got a big fancy fireplace, I mean I don't, I'll be honest I'm not a huge fan of this kind of interior in the, <laughs> in the living room, it's not my usual bag but um, I just thought it went quite well with the whole theme. Um, I just wanted to make it look quite traditional um, and like they are quite a, a well-off family and this is the you know the sitting room and I mean I, I think a lot of houses like this now would be a lot more kind of like modern in terms of interior but I think I just wanted to kind of go for the whole um, I don't know classic classic theme I think it looks quite old-school British like your posh London folk <laughs> Um, so obviously it's three floors, um, I think there's like five bedrooms, but they're not of big size, so, um, I've got one main bedroom, which is a double, and I think the rest of them are single actually, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Um, so I've got the main bedroom on the second floor, um, and then I have a bathroom, and I've got two rooms, so one of the rooms, the pink one, I had in mind for someone that could be perhaps like an au pair or um, like a house manager, housemaid, or someone that looks after the family or looks after the house, um, perhaps, so it could be someone that's like a long-term house guest or something. Um, and then the other room, which is the blue one, um, you'll see in a minute. I just had this kind of like um, a spare room, like a guest room. It's only a single bed, but I think you probably could squeeze in a double. Um, but I just kind of had, yeah, had the idea that it would be someone that could just stay a night or two in the week if they needed to. Um, but yeah, bathroom, really straightforward, pretty simple. I didn't spend too much time. So this is the room that I thought would be for a kind of a permanent house guest. So it's just a single bed, um, but they've got, I've made it a bit homey, so they've got like a chair and they've got lots of bits and bobs on the dresser, on the dresser thing. Um, so it does look like it's not just a random guest room, they do actually kind of stay there a while. Um, so yeah, it could be like a younger au pair or whatever. Um, and then this one is the guest kind of spare room. Um, so with the main bedroom, I, and I've already gone past it on the video, <laughs> but I just wanted to make it look as classical, um, as possible so it's quite a, a decent size it's got a nice like, kind of like seat under the window um and it's just quite i don't know it's just quite fancy um so this is on to the third floor um so this is kind of like a teenage girl room i thought the shape was really annoying to be honest and i wanted to keep it classical but also quite modern and i just kind of struggled to make it look nice and there's so many windows it's just hard to kind of do what i really wanted to do and just where everything is placed just kind of well got a bit annoying to be honest so um yeah i'm not a big fan of this room but in my head i was thinking oh just a teenage girl you know um clutter up a little bit but i think i was just getting a little bit because I'd done but like three builds in one day <laughs> at this point I was being a bit like oh just get over and done with um which is not the attitude to have if you're gonna you know build something for a video but um I much preferred this green room I had a lot more fun it's a bit more of a basic shape so you can just do what you want with it and I thought this could be for like a tween kind of boy like a young guy um, maybe a teenager tween kid I don't know but I was a bit happier with this room than the other <laughs> Um, again, it's quite simple. I didn't spend too much time on it. And then just another bathroom. I also put like, a study on this floor, so it's like really dark wood, and I was really happy with how it turned out. So well, I just used those kind of like cluttered desk and um, bookshelf, and I just really liked it. Um, but yeah, so the house overall, I'm quite happy with the outside. I think it looks really pretty, and I like this style of build. It's a little bit different. Um, it's quite simple, but it's quite effective. But um, you'll have to let me know what you think. I um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know. Screenshots coming up. Bye, guys.